Hello y'all, welcome back to the channel to free your future. In this video, we'll be talking about the two best ways that I've found to stay motivated during the summer grind. This is the fourth and final part in our 2022 summer intensive program. And so far, we've been talking about ways to maximize your summer break to prepare you to go to college debt free in the fall. But these tips and tactics will be of no use to you unless you stay motivated to do them. Let's get into it. So we have been talking about hustling up some cash for college, budgeting that income, and then clarifying how much of it your college actually requires. Those actions are good and all, but if you lose steam and give up halfway through, they're useless. There are two best ways that I've found to stay motivated during the summer grind. And they are to connect with family and to give yourself rewards. We'll be talking about each of them individually. So let's go ahead and start with family. And I'll admit, it can be hard connecting with family, especially if you're like me and are spending your summer on campus five states away. However, I have found very few people who can encourage like family can. So find ways to connect. You can connect with phone calls. You can go and go out of your way if you live close enough and drive 30 or 40 or maybe even hours to visit them. Um, you might even take a short break during your summer and take time to connect with family because Ultimately, connecting with them will empower you. Something will happen in your spirit. They'll cheer you up and you will stay more focused during the rest of the summer to crush those goals. There's a story from my gap year that I'd like to share with you that illustrates this point very well, I think. It was a hard day at work, construction. We were just framing up a house and it was exhausting. It was so strenuous. And since I didn't have a car at the time, I had to ride a bike. And so that also put some physical strain on me. And I was getting back home after the 10 minute bike ride. And I thought, oh my goodness, there are cinder blocks on my ankles. Lifting them is too hard. Oh, I'm going to love it when I can get inside, get a drink of water, take a nice cold shower and go to bed. But as I walked up the steps of the porch uh, and at this time during the gap year, I was living with my grandparents to help take care of them with my cousins. And so I opened the door, walked through the entryway, came to the living room, which had some nice soft carpet. My grandmother was there in her chair. She just had this beaming smile at me and said, hey Jeff, how was work? And I was like, oh, it was, it was good, but exhausting. And guess what happened next? I flopped down onto the floor, exhausted. And I was like, I don't want to get up. And I kid you not, I could not raise a single limb. I had given it everything that day and I just laid there like right in the middle of action like in the entryway in the living room like just laying there and yeah I ended up taking a nap a very sweet nap and then after I woke up my cousins my aunt my uncle my grandmother they encouraged me in the vision that I shared the, with them that I was on. And that was to go to college debt free. The whole reason why I was putting in my blood, my sweat, my tears at that construction site was so that I could earn the cash I needed to during that summer to go to college last fall. And so I, I share that picture to let you know that when you connect with family, there's something that happens. Like I said before, your spirit changes. They cheer you up and they remind you of your why. They might not 
ha share the same why, but they will understand, hey, this vision, this going to college debt free thing is very important to Jeff. So I'm going to encourage him in it. And they did and I couldn't thank them enough for doing that. That gave me just what I need to go back to work the next day, the next week and continue throughout the summer and to pay for it debt free. So I'd encourage you to connect with family as much as you can. And as a bonus tip, spend time with family because come fall quarter, you're going to wish you did, especially when homesickness sets in. Pro tip. Now we'll turn our attention to the second way to stay motivated during the summer grind, which is rewarding yourself. What does that mean? But first, please like this video if you found it helpful so far. So the idea behind rewarding yourself is that you are more likely to enjoy and complete quickly a task if you know there is an immediate reward for doing it. So let's say you needed to raise $4,000 over the summer. You would want to break it apart into smaller increments and reward yourself for every dollar increment leading to that total. So if you had a reward for every $500 saved and maybe a slightly higher reward for every $2,000 saved, you will find that you will accomplish that goal with greater motivation and you'll accomplish it faster than if you had not had a reward. Now rewards can look different for different people. Some people appreciate some good solitary free time, you know, or, or social free time. Either one works, but the idea is that you have a chunk of time that you've devoted to nothing, absolutely nothing. That can be a great reward. Um, other people enjoy food as their reward, like a nice treat that you don't get very often. Other people enjoy taking some time to do something fun, something like a game or a puzzle. Other people like doing some exercise as their reward, getting those endorphins going or uh, shooting some hoops with the boys. Whatever reward system brings you joy, do that. That will be a good reward for you. And speaking of rewards, I find that free time is my favorite reward. So as a reward for me paying off my first year in college, which I did in this video, I'm going to rest for a week to fly out and see my family. As a result, I'll not be posting a video next week. But afterward, I'll be back before you know it. In the meantime, I want to leave you with some resources that you can check out to increase your knowledge and just educate yourself on how money works and how to go to college debt free. These resources I have used myself so that I could become a better financially literate person. You ask, how do I go to college debt free like Jeff? Well, here you go. Check out these resources. The first one is the Borrowed Future documentary. Now, I this documentary I've found super helpful. They've done their research very well and they expose like what's actually happening behind the scenes with this whole student loan industry. And it is an actual industry. It's it says federal unsubsidized loan or subsidized loan, but you, you'll want to check out the documentary to see what that actually is. And they also provide hope in that documentary, which I found really helpful my senior year when I was struggling with deciding, oh, do I go to college? Or do I go to trade school? Oh, how am I going to pay for college? They gave me stories of people just like me, just like you, who did it before. So I would encourage you to definitely check out 
the borrowed future documentary i'll put a link in the description for all these resources you can check them all out when you want the second resource i'd like you to check out would be reading a book growing your mind with anthony o'neill's five mistakes you can't afford to make in college this book was written for college students it's not a long textbook with what exactly you need to do a whole bunch of financial terms that you can't understand no 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 it's a very well written book it's very clear and to the point and it's a very short read so i would encourage you to read that as well so that you can avoid many of the financial pitfalls that most college students are making with their finances and that will set you ahead of the crowd for sure also if you haven't seen the previous parts to this summer 2022 intensive series i'd encourage you to check them out you'll be glad you did